What up? The Golden State Warriors and Steph Curry for the last two seasons has not been ideal whatsoever from pretty much their four to five years of dominating the league of winning 73 games, going to five NBA Finals, winning three championships, and Steph Curry reigning as quote-unquote the best player in the world during the 2016 regular season. But then LeBron James took it back away in the Finals. Now we're in a position basically from last season to now. Klay Thompson has been out back-to-back -back seasons. And Steph Curry has fooled the effect of pretty much the whole defense has been focused on him for most to all possessions in the NBA game. And the role players around Steph Curry has not been ideal. I mean, Andrew Wiggins, Kelly Oubre Jr., so on and so forth. Draymond Green, Steph Curry, they work well together when Klay Thompson's there. They're a trio. They're a trinity out there all together. With Klay Thompson now, that is hearkening towards all of them whatsoever. The Golden State Warriors right now are a 10th seed in the Western Conference, and they're going to be battling, you know, most likely in that playoff tournament, um, playing tournament before the NBA playoffs start, to where they would have to fight to get in, probably around the 7th or 8th seed. Now, in my position, I fully expect the Warriors to make the playoffs at the 8th seed. I'd love, I would love to see a Utah Jazz and Golden State Warriors first round matchup. I think that would be an ideal matchup that the Warriors could be explosive off of, but I don't know. We'll see from there. Um, if you're the Warriors, if anything, you would like to play the Phoenix Suns in the first round matchup, um, something they can go back and forth with on that side. But besides from there, Steph Curry has been hearkening disappointing losses, blowouts, and he's finally coming down to earth these last two seasons ever since he's been on a high pedestal for the last five years since 2015. We're going to jump here and cover if the Warriors have any Chances of potentially winning a, one last championship at least in the next couple of seasons or potentially even this season, maybe in their eyes. But um, we'll do a little, listen a little more here. I'll get my take on things and we'll dive deep. As this championship window closed Man, with um, the Warriors. Fortunately, it has. And uh, your boy's a big Steph fan, been a big Steph fan for, for years now. But here's the problem, Sal. We all look at Steph Curry like, oh, wait, Steph hasn't regressed. Steph still putting up 29, 6, and 5. That's the same stats he was putting up his MVP years, 36 and 5. Steph hasn't regressed. But y'all got to look beneath the surface. What they say about the iceberg, Marcellus, 90% lies underneath the water. You only oh. see the tip of the iceberg. Mm. I'm looking at guys like Draymond Green. I'm looking at guys like Draymond, who back when the Warriors were going to five straight, when they was winning the chips as well, Draymond was giving you 14, 11, 8, 12, 10, 9, 11, 9, and 9. What's Draymond giving you this year? Don't say eight, it. eight, six, and six. Now, I understand you still got the piece that everybody knows, which is Steph Curry. But let's not act like Steph, uh, Clay Thompson didn't once give us 60 points on 11 dribbles. Mm. I don't know if Clay Thompson's going to come back and revert to his old ways after tearing an ACL, tearing an Achilles. And Draymond, we already know his best days are behind him. Is Steph Curry still cooking? Absolutely. But will it take much more than just Steph Curry cooking for the Warriors to go back to their championship ways? Beyond a shadow of a doubt. And last... Pop quiz. What's the fastest way to raise your credit score? Is it A, pay your bills on time? The West is a different beast now than it was. Clippers was what? Lob City back then. Mm. Now the Clippers got Kawhi. The Lakers were still trying to figure <laughs> their things out in NBA purgatory. Now the Lakers got LeBron. Back when the Warriors were winning their chips, they really were going through the Blazers, the Jazz, the Rockets, the Spurs, the Rockets. It's a different type of beast in the West nowadays. I think the best days for the Warriors. Well, lots to cover. Um, the Warriors, they will win one last championship in the next couple of seasons. Will they win the championship this season? Heck no. And I, there, you know, there's some cats on YouTube that try to go quote-unquote pro-truth that stated that the Warriors would win the championship this season, even without Klay Thompson. That's laughable as it is. No, that's not happening. Um, whenever Steph Curry comes back and wins another championship, Curry will finish his career with four championships I fully expect him to get one finals MVP on his last NBA championship because you're most likely going to have him, Clay, and Dre. And even if you do bring another wing, maybe like a you know, DeMar DeRozan type, heck, maybe even a Kawhi Leonard type, I fully expect Steph Curry to win one finals MVP with four championships, a 4-2 and two record to fulfill his career. Now, when will that championship is most feasible and would actually happen? Steph Curry will win his last championship whenever LeBron James has retired. LeBron's going to have around two to three more seasons than the NBA. 
the 2021 NBA championship. I have it going towards the LA Lakers, which makes the most sense. And then if you're looking at the next falling season, you know, it's either going to be the Lakers or the Nets. And the next falling season, you know, that can be up in the air and grabs for like the Nets and Clippers. Um, this is not objective what I'm stating, but this is how I kind of see the trend of the NBA, how they like to have someone's certain era, their years. It was Steph Curry's for a while. They threw LeBron James a good bone since he came back to Cleveland. Then they gave it back to Curry with the mix of him and Durant. Now they're giving it back to LeBron James. He left Cleveland, a poverty franchise. He's on a glorified franchise of the LA Lakers and part of Hollywood. This is LeBron James's glorified years before he retires. They want to make LeBron the GOAT. I fully expect LeBron to finish with six chips. After when LeBron retires at the top in the peak, which is the perfect setting, he'll get Kareem's 38,000 points all time. He'll have six chips. He'll play a season with the Sun. Space Jam 2 comes out and whoever, whatever accolades, maybe one, one regular season MVP. They'll give it back to a new, actually, my bad. After LeBron retires, they're not going to give it back to Curry because Curry will be around 34, 35 years of age. They'll go a new direction of Zion Williamson. If not Zion Williamson, you know, someone else is going to have to step up. I don't expect the Greek freak. I mean, he's going to have some good seasons, but he's not that type of guy for them. They're going to most likely give it to Zion Williamson to pass the torch and focus on him in his career. Um, besides from that, Steph Curry will win a championship with the Warriors. I kind of resemble towards the 2014 San Antonio Spurs. Now, those cats were a lot older. I mean, with Ginobili, Parker, Tim Duncan. They're around 36 through 39 years of age, somewhere around there altogether. But Curry, he'll be probably around 34 with Clay and Dre. And with Clay coming off this injury, Clay Thompson does what how his game is is very simple. He plays off the ball, a catch and shoot. He'll come off a couple screens, but most likely he's on the corner just chilling. So we've never seen Clay Thompson ever dribble, dribble, all that jazz. I mean, he scored 60 points off what, like 11 dribbles? He's going to resemble, he'll be fine coming back in the NBA. I mean, we've seen what Kevin Durant doing out here after having the ball in his hands, and he's killing it. Same thing with Clay. He'll be killing it again. All right. Mm. Wow. Uh, Acho, <laughs> how up, wrong CB? you are, my man. Uh, <laughs> first of all, I do remember in Oklahoma City out there, too, with Kevin Durant and Russell Westbrook that the old Warriors went through, but... I'm glad you didn't diss Steph because I think Steph Curry is probably better than ever. He's yeah. stronger than he's ever been. I don't know that in his prime in the beginning of their dynasty or even at any point in their dynasty, he could have done this. Average 29 points on efficient shooting from the three and the field overall when they double and triple teaming him. You know, you don't have Kevin Durant to worry about anymore. You don't have Klay Thompson to worry about anymore. The defense is solely focused on Steph, and he's playing as great as ever. So he has not regressed at all. You mentioned Draymond. Mm -hmm. uh, Draymond's actually playing well. Don't, don't you can't do just look CD. at the numbers with don't Draymond. Do we know he can't score. Beef, beef, beef. He's giving you he's giving you eight. He's giving you eight and a half assists a game, which is a career high. And here's what you need to look at: the Golden State Warriors, Acho are seventh in the NBA in defensive efficiency. Who gets most of the credit for that? Draymond Green. So Draymond CD. Green is playing better than I actually expected yeah. without the other stars around him. Defensively, he's doing his thing, and he's doing his stuff as a playmaker. Here's the deal. What's the Next Hold up. Listen, Dre's fine with the Warriors, but if you don't have Klay Thompson, again, they're triune together. You need to have one of the other. Dre works best well whenever Steph's with another consistent sniper out there. And that's what they played. There's the Splash Brothers for a reason. Now, since it's Steph Curry by himself, he's going to be double, triple team. And Dre, he's not an offensive threat like that. And listen, management's done a terrible job for the Warriors bringing in role players and vets. Because if you have in your starting lineup with Andrew Wiggins and Kelly Oubre Jr., those are players. Andrew Wiggins is more of a mid-range game, play more ISO basketball. Kelly Oubre is more of a slasher. He doesn't hit from outside. He's just a, he's a hyper bunny slasher. And those two players do not fit well at all in the Golden State Warriors system of, you know, spreading the ball, shooting, catch and shoot. So that's on management side of things. Steph Curry giving you 30 points a game. I mean, it is what it is. We already know Steph Curry can ball. He can, he can do what he would like. But this is more on management side of things. I, I'm not going to blame Dre. Dre's good on defense, but um, 
offensively, he's never been that cat. So it is what it is with the Warriors. They're probably going to get bounced in the first round. Hopefully they make the playoffs. I fully expect the San Antonio Spurs ever since, well, even before that, even though the Spurs got somewhat hot this season. But, I mean, <laughs> they should have rebuilt a season or two ago. It's like, okay, cool, you're a seventh seed. So what, you're going to get bounced in the first round. Um, but the Spurs are coming back down to earth. They traded away. My bad. They let go of LaMarcus Aldridge, bought him out. I somewhat expect that happened to DeMar DeRozan pretty soon. We'll see more into that. But the Spurs will not make the playoffs. They're going to drop down in the seedings and the sandings. And that's going to leave an opportunity for the Golden State Warriors to take that eight seed at least. Next year, they'll be contenders. I give you. You mentioned the Lakers. You mentioned the Clippers. I'm not saying they definitely win the West, but I am saying they will be legitimate contenders because everyone will move. They will be contenders, but they will not make a finals in the next three seasons. The Lakers and Clippers will get, I fully expect the Lakers to get two finals appearances from now um, until 2022 or 2023 and the Clippers to get one of those. After that, they can give it back to the Warriors for one last championship season. The NBA will let that happen. And they've done that. Just like with the Spurs in 2014. The Warriors will win a championship. They will get it done with. Probably four years from now. Down a notch once you get Clay back. So Steph's the number one mm -hmm. guy. Clay's the number two guy. Giving you 20 points a game. Now Andrew Wiggins. Who's second right now. He drops to the third score. That's a nice 17 point third score and probably your fourth or fifth best player. He's actually playing the best defense of his career. Yeah, I mean, this team was designed to have Klay Thompson back. So Wiggins on the team is fine if you play him as a Harrison Barnes type role player. And if he comes off the second unit from time to time, he can go ISO basketball. That's fine. But with Klay Thompson off, that ruins this whole foundation of the roster and the team. Um same thing with LeBron James and AD. You know, whenever Anthony Davis is out, you know, the Lakers roster does not make sense anymore. So it is what it is on pieces. James Wiseman, love him. Absolutely love him. Giving me 11.6 boards. Great defense, athletic, can shoot, actually shoots the ball fairly well for a seven-footer. He's going to be much better next season. They'll be contenders for sure. I'm not guaranteeing they'll win the West, but they will be contenders. Last thing I'll say in this segment, they are what this year is about and why Steph went off. We got to stop getting used to losing. And Texas homeowners, all the electric companies are raising their rates, but you can stop them. All that, they are all about teaching these guys how to play Warriors basketball. And they're really doing it. Number one, they lead the league in assists. 27 assists a game. All right, number two, as I mentioned, seventh in the league in defensive efficiency. So they're playing, sharing the ball offensively and defending the rock. And then once they get clay back, they will return. Fair, but my point is this. I can't bank, and because I've come back from injuries, never an ACL, let alone an ACL backdoored with an Achilles, Whew. I can't make the same assumption that you want to make, which is Clay Thompson will return to form. You know how the kinetic chain works, and if mm. not, Dr. Wiley will definitely educate us <laughs> on the kinetic chain. <laughs> I love but that. I can't make that same assumption you... Well, another thing, not to get too deep into things, but some of these players do have quote-unquote fake injuries and part of the script to where... They're not actually injured, and the NBA just wants them out due to what they have in planned in store. Again, it's an entertainment league for a reason. You can't just tell me that the league owners and everything in the behind, they're like, okay, you guys play, and it is what it is. There are agendas out there. There are scripts and plots. Does that dictate everything? Maybe, maybe not. But Clay Thompson, I mean, we've seen Kevin Durant, man. I mean, he's balling like he never even got hurt. Not saying it was fake or not, but... I mean, you can see when Kevin Durant got quote unquote hurt in the finals and he started walking and limping. You can tell by the body language. I mean, some were stating about LeBron James's injury here a week ago. I'm not saying it. You guys do your own research. You guys look into things a little more deeper. But Clay Thompson would be fine anyways, even if he did get those two ACL injuries and whatnot. Playing off the ball, catch and shoot, non dribbler. He's fine. He's good. Trying to make see a 32 year, a, a two year older Clay Thompson, two years removed from ball with.
two major injuries. Like, worse than hearing SAT, the three letters you want to hear worse than that is <laughs> ACL. <laughs> so, coming back from them type of injuries, I can't make the same assumption you want to make that they will return to form. Mm. That's where I differ with you, CB. Oh, CB, let me be referee this. Oh, no, go ahead, CB. You that mm. quickly, I can tell. Sorry, Bishop. I know Dr. Wiley's about to, about to hit us. <laughs> But I'll give you that. If Clay's not oh, back that, close huh? to what he was, 95% of what he was, then you're right. They, then they're not going to win another championship or come close. But if. Well, and this would have to be three, four years from now, but if Clay Thompson's around 90% to what he was, they still will win a championship because when LeBron James retires, you're looking at the scope of the Western and Eastern Conference. I'm not going to lay down about anyone who could be free agents and signing and all that mumble jumble. But the Western Conference will be open within, I mean, the Clippers will quiet them. This will be their fourth season or so. So they're going to be off the rail. Um, the Warriors still have their brand of basketball that they can be older and it's still going to be dynamic. It's still going to be, you know, this day and age of basketball. It's going to flow very smooth. And the Western Conference, well, so you're going to have the Mavericks, Pelicans go up. Um, but, I mean, if you're the Warriors, you can sneak out one finals appearance and one championship especially when LeBron James retires in the NBA. In the Eastern Conference, you're going to have the Nets, but, I mean, I, four seasons from now, I, that team won't be still constructed together. I doubt it, man, but I'm jumping the gun. I'm not going to talk too much on that part. I'm assuming you're right that Clay is 90-something percent of what he used to be. Being factored in into Steph Curry's frustration. And I remind you also that life – and championships come at you fast, especially in the NBA. Lakers, last year. Guess it's time to take it up. All right, I'm ending on there. Um, will the Warriors win a championship with Steph Curry? Yes, they will. They're going to win one last championship after LeBron James retires, which makes sense in the NBA's direction, timeline, and things of that. I fully expect Steph Curry to get one finals MVP. Um, winning that last championship. And besides from that, yeah, it's pretty much there. They still have a championship window, but the next two to three seasons, actually, this season, they're not contenders. Next season, they can make a conference finals appearance with a healthy Clay Thompson and the crew. Um, and they'll still be contenders on that end. But is there a championship window open? Yes, it is. This season, no. And will they win a championship? They will. I'm out.